Patrice O'Neill in studio playing Caroline's this weekend. 212-757-4100. Are you doing the Thursday night? What am I doing here? What? You're doing Thursday yeah. night? <laughs> yeah. So, so they give you the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Yes. You're, so you're camping out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. At the, at the, I'm going to make my triumphant return to Caroline's Comedy Club. Once again, uh, not being retired. That retirement thing, we're all I'm happy gonna for I'm going to fucking, I was thinking about playing a lottery. <laughs> I'm getting out of this chicken outfit. <laughs> Where did the rest of the guys go? They just gone. They're, it's it's confusion. It? Uh, it's it, it's just gone. Yeah. Let me let me let me state this right now. Charlie I, Sheen? I, Charlie Sheen. But I'm going to say What's your take? It's a weird take. My take? Yeah. He's a free man. We should all be jealous of him. Free at last, free at last. He's a free man. We've seen a free man. You make fun of that motherfucker. But he's a free man, dude, and that's that's a great thing to be. But you I don't give a fuck what he do. You do agree he's not as crazy as the media is making him out to be, right? I I think that he is um he's he's a peculiar guy, but I, I, who cares though? It's like it, I think he had been on on whatever he's been on. He's been on Tiger Blood since the day one, mm -hmm. and you can't you don't understand, man. People who are cornballs. They don't get to be really funny, man. You got to have problems, man. Any funny guy without problems is a fucking just a douche. Right. It, it, no one likes him. The you know what I mean? The more problems you have, the funnier you can be. <clears throat> He's a fucking hilarious. Think of your your funniest guys in history. They all had issues. And they under, they understood that at Warner Brothers. They knew they were dealing with a guy that had issues, but that's what made him great. But something happened. I mean, I, I think he... I you think, really think he's happy that he lost that gig, though? I don't... I think he's a free man, dude. I think he's free. I don't. I don't think he wanted to be free at first. I know. I think he's a free. He's free. Not. He's just. He's just a guy who. Who he he want he's he is what we all want to be. No fired. A right. fucking free. <laughs> but I mean. Out of way. I mean. I, I mean. It's not about the, the 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 gig. It's about his his life. He's a free man, dude. Some people don't want to be. Some people feel comfortable being, you know, in the position they're in. I mean, I, it's it's two things we're comparing. I'm comparing your spirit, and, right, and right. I'm not comparing his money. I'm comparing a day-to-day -day spirit, and and he's doing what the fuck he wants I, to do. It doesn't bother me, and I think I think I'm jealous of the guy. I, I think he's mad because the what? rules changed. I think I think they were completely aware, like you were saying, that uh, Warner Brothers was aware that they're dealing with a guy that has some issues. But he came to work and he performed, and everyone was he like, was fantastic. It's like as long as you perform, I, we don't care what you're doing on the side, and that's fine. But somewhere along the line, uh, somewhere along the way, the the rules changed. Whether he started fucking up uh, bad at work or I don't think the what. rules changed. I think it changed and, and for then, people then, in the in the power then, position, man. But then that's what got him mad. Like, what the fuck, man? The rules changed. You guys were okay with my lifestyle. And, as long as everything was running smoothly at work, any, 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 he, he, he betrayed the cartel, man. You can't betray the people that you are in cahoots with. There is, there are no one thing in this game. And Mel Gibson to tell you, because Mel Gibson is at the top of the food chain, but you can't fuck with the people that you um, have aligned yourself with. Yeah, we were suspicious about that. We didn't think he went too far. He fucked with. He, they think he fucked with Jews, and that's who he aligned yeah, himself with. Man. Oh yeah, but, he but also, that's who he aligned himself with. Though. He right. was fucking acting. It was like they tolerated a lot of shit from him, or, or a lot of stuff that was none of their business, but that would typically get somebody in trouble because of who he was. But if he wanted to be out, he didn't have to re up. He's panicking that he got fired because again, we've been on that end of it. it we, man, he lost a two million dollar a week cakewalk yeah but maybe it's like he has ex-wives and fucking like, kids I, he's I like panicking this, you're in this business jim you, you, I think it's, he's panicking. You, you it's like it's not a cakewalk you know it's not a cakewalk <laughs> and you deal with but no, life on this a, level on the radio level it's not cakewalk but nothing's he, a cakewalk he, though exactly so it's like to compare money and and your i, I don't even want to be dramatic and say soul but to compare your soul and money it just, to me, it doesn't combine. Like, this gig like is a Patrice, cakewalk. I like Patrice's uh, take on this. It's a, it's a new twist that I haven't heard yet. And, yeah, this guy can now wake up whenever the fuck he wants. He's got enough money where he doesn't have to ever move out of his That's house. That's not what I heard. He's making $2 million still, a fucking week. still got platoon week. money. I heard he, I heard he was not, did not have enough money. And, and, again, I don't know how true it is. Right, I mean. But I know, know somebody that knows him, and I heard that he was in financial trouble, actually, a couple of years ago because he has so many, he has ex-wives and he has a lot of bills to pay. Mm. He, may, he may be set for life, but he could have just not re-upped. But who's and, not going to hire him now? 
As long as he didn't offend, I don't know where where this guy Chuck Lorre is on the in in the in the cartel fucking the cartel. Well, it's a lot of cartels, but, man. But he's yeah. talking about how he doesn't want to wear the funny shirts anymore. So he's going to get another gig where he has to wear funny shirts. Don't yeah. ever fuck where, where's me, he Charlie. Go? Don't he's got ever ma- fuck but, me. Okay. He's got Major League Three or another sitcom where he wears funny shirts. Can I? Can I? Maybe a reality show. Can I say something like who, my, my carrier is AT and T or my mm. my. I don't know if I'm doing commercials, but I, I just that's who I have. Or, or yeah. even Comcast cable for mm-hmm. my cable. You you call them, they they cut off. I guess Showtime, and I and I, this point is to is to you know wearing funny shirts somewhere else. Showtime cut the movie channel <laughs> off, so now the movie channel is alone without a package right. that yeah. you have to buy. And I'm like, well, why don't you just put movie channel out of business? No one's buying the movie channel yeah. outside of a package. And I go, look, if I have to pay for the movie channel, and I want the movie channel, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave to go get fucked somewhere else because getting fucked by Comcast, you, I've been there with them for six years. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm not going to let you fuck me, and I know you. So I'll go get fucked by a new person and treated poorly, come in getting treated poorly, <laughs> as opposed to you're going to... Tr- these th- my family these people that i that you would rather me you would rather fucking save the ten dollars a month instead of giving it to me i've been i probably paid you seventy five thousand over the last <laughs> six years you would rather see me go than to fucking give me that little thing you don't see that i've been a loyal customer up to that point you know what i'm gonna wear the funny shirts at Direct TV, but, but you right, can't right, let right. Direct TV fuck me because I don't know that. You saying I want to leave Direct, I want to leave the thing, and, and, and like I want to get fucked somewhere else. I understand that, but then the difference is when you continually are going everywhere and daring them to do it. It's almost like you're daring and them to do it, and he, fear, over, man. This, I think he overrated his value there. It's scary. They fired Tom Cruise. <laughs> They'll fire him. They, it's a scary game when you're dealing with these fucking people, dude. I, look. I deal with Jews. Boo! Sorry. <laughs> I deal with Jews because one thing Jews don't let you do, they don't, they don't want you to be Jewish. Like, they don't make you join. You just have to make some money. Black people don't want you to be black. Say that again? I said black people don't want you to be black. You know, bombed the first time. I'll say it twice. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking stunk. <laughs> but they leave you alone. They leave you alone. So he's pissing off. A, a group that lets you do what you do, right. long as you do it, as and as they make a couple good, of dollars. And you you're succeed. Good yeah, as long as you're good at it, you're so fucking working. Something happened for you to, like, for him to be screaming. Something happened for him to continuously be talking and talk. All of a sudden, he done lost it, lost it. Something happened, man. He's either scared to death, because look at who he named in his fucking team of guys. Uh, uh, Mel Gibson, Sean Penn. Le- f- legitimate. But what they call Hollywood eccentrics, man. Yeah, uh, he, yeah. He aligned himself with. There's some fucking, some, some strangeness going on, because Charlie Sheen is the highest paid TV actor in the world. And that's, when you talk about the beast, and being in the belly, I'm not even in, really in the mouth. You might be in the mouth being chewed right. up, but Charlie Sheen's in the belly when you're dealing with shit like that. You don't know what the fuck is going on and the shit people want you to do, man. Yeah, but they give him a raise, yeah. and he's, he's the highest paid guy in the game. It's, it's, I'm not saying yeah, that, that, that raise is like that mm. coffee in but your how fucking it, head. But how are they treat, <laughs> I can't comprehend how they treated him bad. It was like when, when he fucked up. You know how it is with networks. He fucks up and he gets arrested for a, a knife or he didn't have a knife or whatever it was. They don't abandon him through any of that shit that he's pulled. All over these years, they don't abandon him. They don't publicly. Maybe they behind the scenes, they could just stop it because we have advertising to sell. But they didn't abandon him. And then he just dared them and dared them. And Chuck but, Lurie, this, but don't, don't, get that, it, don't get that confused. He didn't just come out out of nowhere and start saying, fuck Chuck Lorre. No, he was annoyed. Uh, and I'm sure he was probably annoyed for a long his time. His emotions got the best of him. And I think he felt like he was untouchable. He felt like you, exactly. You get, a po- you get to a point where you feel like you're untouchable. Felt I, I hate to bring it back to us, but me and Ant, when we were at NAW getting ridiculous ratings for many, many uh, radio stations, we truly felt untouchable. Like, we were getting yelled at, like, shut up. You're not going to fucking why, fire us. We felt untouchable. You yeah. know why it's different for you two? You two guys and then are the rules, fucking Long but, Island 
<laughs> assholes who weren't un- but you were untouchable we were but no. that's why i brought the uh the, the rules changed and we didn't realize that at the time that the rules were actually changing in front of our eyes but we didn't want to see that we st- still thought we were untouchable. you still have and an Charlie excuse Cuss- though you have an excuse because what's our excuse your excuse we fucked up really bad not your excuse is that you're your actual human beings who <laughs> have paved a path for yourself. So in reality, you look at this game like we worked hard and we got to where we had to be, which was legitimate thought. Charlie Sheen has been raised in this business, man. His father yeah. was a major player. His brother was a major player. He's not a fucking boob. He knows what's going on in this fucking game. He's just not like, golly gee whiz, I'm untouchable. This guy knows the deal. He overplayed he his hand. I people. think you're wrong. He overplayed his hand. He thought wrong. he was untouchable. It happened because you get into I that same... Too, a little bit, I think please. he overplayed his... Because nobody wants to, especially when you can get out of the gig... Nobody wants to walk away or get fired from a $2 million a week gig. And I say cakewalk because when we've had trouble here, as much as I'll bitch about management, like this gig is a cakewalk compared to fucking all having to be on the road to make the money. It's like I mm-hmm. love coming in here and hanging with these dumbbells and having a good time. It's yeah. like the idea of losing this is fucking like, fuck. Then you feel like you're floating on your own. He's never been fired publicly like that. That's I'm telling you, he's scared, man. Because so, when he had to talk about so-and-so... Uh, remember what he said? He was on the phone. He goes, well, I guess they, they shouldn't have fired me. Like, we heard him talk after that about the firing, and you could tell he was fucked up and, and crazy, but he was also bothered by it. Yeah. It was almost like they had done what he mm. dared them to do, and, and he it, didn't think, I think they it's would. Bo- I think it's both parts, though. I think he's, he's kind of, you kind of rationalize it like, ah, good, I'm free. Mm. This opens up a whole, so many possibilities. But, but and I'm then in the back of your mind, you're like, like his, yeah. his, from the, from the from the two million. No, I'm no. Just talking, I'm, I know okay, what you before mean. he got fired. I'm just saying, it, the guy was doing something that's unheard of. And and look, man, like Les Moonves, man, he's a boss boss. He's these guys. If this was the mob, dude, yeah, that's yeah. how you. That's the Don. Look at it. Where's Chuck Lorre in the mob? Is he a capo? Is he a boss? These guys, yeah. they don't give a fuck. You're meat. Two million dollars a week yeah. and shit. They offered Seinfeld five million yep. a yeah. week. And that was ten, what, ten years yeah, ago? Yeah, probably ten, right? Do, he no. do, he's a. He, that means if they offered him five, he was probably worth a billion to them. But to add to your discussion, Les Moon yes. has paid Charlie a visit, was in his kitchen. This is documented, and said, "Look, man, just fucking you know, back off a little bit, Let, reel it in a little bit, because they un, they both understood Think of it like it's a mob." He's the, like, the back boss. off. All, he goes, all I need you to do is back off a little. I know what you're all about. I don't need you sober and all that shit. I just need you to back the fuck off a little. And you Charlie, people off. And Charlie chose not to. But, 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 but that's, there, that's what at we At that know. point, there was still a chance. Yeah. That's, what we, that's what we were told. That's what we know. Yeah, you're right about the that. Fucking, you're right about that. If, yeah. if, if you heard a story that fucking uh, uh, Mel Carmison came and visited Anthony at his house... And it was just like, he goes, hey, Anthony, like, that guy is the guy. So he comes to you. It, it's not it, it's not a fucking request. But he didn't, <laughs> he, he didn't fuck with Les, though. He didn't fuck with Sumner, and he didn't fuck with Les. He's not a dumb. You're right. He was raised in this business, but he also knows how that far he could have. Sumner paid. will fucking will dump Cruz. He will dump Charlie Sheen. Sumner mm-hmm. will fire anybody because he's ninety and he doesn't give a fuck. And he's a yeah, billionaire. Yeah. He felt yeah. like he knew how far he could take. He it. felt like he could fuck and with Chuck Lorre. Maybe it is because of the drugs and the lack yeah. of sleep, yeah. and then his perception was off. And then, he but he, to- but he was always that. And it was the number one show yeah. on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. What are they gonna do now? This is why this game is is um it's 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 a gangster business. I, it, when we talk shit about the bridges, I look my, I try to keep my head low. I do. I try to be old, crazy, fat man and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to really know what's going on, dude. Because people ask you to do things and they tell you to do things. Once you do, once you do it, <laughs> it's like the mob. It's the mob. Hey, do, hey, Patrice, do me a favor. Listen, we're gonna let you win an Oscar if you just do this and you go. Yeah, so if you're an avarice person and you want it all, yeah. But I like, I, I, 
I like that. Under, un, more under the radar. Like somehow, yeah. Banano is still lived to be a ripe old age. <laughs> <Yeah>. Somehow, <laughs> who's the other the other boss that lived to be a ripe old age? Uh, um, oh, uh, fucking the, uh, G, uh, the, uh, the the one who they thought was crazy, but it wasn't. Yeah, the yeah. Carlo, no, no, no. The, the, the boss, boss. The, yeah, yeah, Carlo, not, not Carlo, the, the one in the, uh, Vincent the Chin Gigante. No, not oh. the Chin too, but Gigante, but yeah. but the the boss of the really the boss. Paul Castellano. Who was shot? For, the, for that family. The guy walking around in the that bathroom? Castell oh, the old one, Carlo the, Gambino. Gambino lives oh, okay. to be, like, to figure out how to live to be a ripe old age in this game is the same thing. I look at this game like it's the mob, man. I'm it's it scary. is a good way to look at I it. I just stay yeah, as a yeah. popo and just go... Put in some work and, I'm and an back earner. off. I'm a good earner. But here's who Char Okay, here's a, a great earner. example. Charlie was Joe Good. Pesci. He's a made man. Lori was the Jewish guy, Ace Rothstein, who he thought, I'm a made man. I'm better than him. And I'm going to tell you something. Ace Rothstein fucking earned. And they didn't give a fuck. They didn't kill would, him. You cannot kill Ace. That's he true. wanted to fucking whack that's Ace. True. And he couldn't. And that's what this was. Chuck, Because Chuck Laurie has fucking... Because Charlie that, Sheen is a Puerto Rican. He's got, when, it, when it's all boiled down to Mike it. and Molly. And he's got... <laughs> <laughs> he's got three. He's got three hit shows. The three biggest. Three of the knock biggest that guy out. Who's, Chuck, who's Chuck? What's his other show? Fucking uh, just uh, said, Big, Mike Bang, and Molly, Big, Big Bang, Bang, Mike and, and Molly, and How I Met. Chuck Those are Chuck Lorre. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, Charlie Sheen is somewhere in this, this fucking. Charlie, I think Charlie <laughs> fucked up. Somewhere in a freezer, hanging up by the back. He's got four. Neck. He's got four hit shows. Yeah, I think he just made a bad move, dude. He allowed his craziness. You're not gonna knock that guy out ever. It's Especially since Charlie was being unpredictable. It was like, if we let him stay and he keeps going, what if he self-destructs? And what if a girl overdoses at his house? Like, then they start thinking that way. What if a girl fucking dies in his house doing coke? Then we have a public relations nightmare because everybody's like, you saw it coming, you saw it coming. They let him go. If he would have just pulled fucking back and talked to them off the air and said, mm -hmm. look... I've been a little crazy. Fuck it. He would have been mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Jesus. Uh, yeah, he also created Grace Under Fire, Sybil, and Dorman and Greg. The guy makes and, a and, lot of money for the networks, And where are all they? They're, yeah. <laughs> where yeah. the fuck? Uh, you, yeah, yeah. you heard Grace Under Fire. What's that bitch's name? Uh, Brett Butler. You heard she was yeah. trouble. Yeah. You we, ain't going to see them no more. <laughs> we don't see them. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir, boss. Yeah, yeah. That's Those it. Those shows were pretty fucking successful. This guy's had a nice run. You get your knuckles dirty. That's what you do. You either mm -hmm. get your knuckles dirty or you try to move up in the game. Damn, man. And it's either sunny black or sunny red. You're going to get... <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chuck Lorre's the cracker, nigga. Sunny and it's... <laughs> Break it down. He just miscalculated, man. His I power. think so, man. I, I, really I It's something... It. You, you're simplifying this shit too much, man. I don't... I just... There's something missing. I can't argue, but there's something that ain't right about this onslaught of Charlie Sheen, dude. He probably... It, this guy is powerful, man. He's also and fucking, don't forget, he was smoking coke, and he's on a long run of a long party and run. I don't think he's insane, but you really do have delusions of grandeur when you're doing that stuff. I mean, look at the insanity of doing that much coke and thinking you're going to be okay and you're not going to drop dead. I mean, that's not a <laughs> sane way to think. That's, that, that's a fucking, <laughs> that's a loony way to think. Yeah, that alone is and crazy. he literally was admitting, he's on a CBS's number one show, and he's going, I was smoking a lot of rocks. And it's like, okay, you can do that, but that's just a dumb thing to do, knowing the business as well as you know it. Have, if Pryor did what he did, but he was a stand-up, and he was a fucking, you know what I mean? He didn't, it, there's a difference between... But Pryor was free, too, and, all, and, he, well, yes. and, 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 and George Carlin was a free man, too. Sure. Because they were on the road to meeting the beast, you yeah. know what I mean? The top of the chain, but if you notice, Ch Ch uh, Richard Pryor and George Carlin aren't famous for fame. They're famous for... The love and respect people have for their material. Yes. Prior put, so Prior they, they made a lot of low. movies. Prior made a lot of movies. Not though. one. So he had to put deal him with... there though. Prior used to do little like he used to, he did like Lady Sings the Blues, which was a big. It was a big like f go. for the black community, but in terms of a, a, a Forty Eight Hours or Beverly Hills Cop, but he did never. You know how big that fucking dumb movie was. With Stir the, Crazy, Stir was, crazy. Big. Stir that was, crazy was big. That was a great movie. That was big. How huge was Stir Crazy? Stir Crazy was, I was mean, big. I love it, but how big was it, it was, for real? That was, was huge. pretty big at the time. In sixth grade, we were all walking around. I remember when that came out. Me and my buddy were walking around, going, "That's right, that's right, we bad." We were just doing the movie trailer, <laughs> and my grandmother <laughs> took me to New York to see it. Oh wow! And she couldn't believe the language. Really? I'll never really? forget Gene Out Wilder you? quoting him going, <laughs> yeah, because I kept going, shut up, cunt, I'm laughing. <laughs> but Gene Wilder was writing, man, I don't fucking believe you. And I was like, oh, fuck, this bitch is going to make me walk out. But she didn't. She knew better.
Oh, wow. She knew better. That's uh, Hello, uh, jerk me off onto the popcorn <laughs> box. <laughs> Pop, popcorn box? Yeah. What did you say? I wanted to say popcorn, <laughs> but it felt so good coming out that I got all flustered. <laughs> and I tripped. I'm tired. <laughs> I premeditated laughter. I just fucking assholes. I just... fucking tri- What am I going to do? I got a new CD coming out today. Oh, really? Damn. What's the problem? Despicable. Why? Why? You know what's funny? Jimmy, people Dorton. noticed Jimmy's that you've been using. The, people noticed that you've been using the word "despicable" all morning. They didn't know why. I hope Steve Carell no. sues you. Now they do. Why? Some. Well, some. He did "despicable me." I hope those people uh, just sue you for despicable. You look at the photo on the fucking cover of that. And you know exactly why I call it that. I'm a fucking because my that my ugly. Yeah, Jimmy's new CD is out today. Very yes. very cool. Good news. Well, let's hope it sells. It'll sell. Are oh, I hope it me? sells a million copies. Silver Streak. Silver Streak was great. Silver Streak was all right. Yes. Can I apologize to any all iPhone users, too? I, f- I got an iPhone. Oh, you did? Are you I digging did. it? You bailed. I bailed. I bailed, too. My torch just made me physically oh. ill. Yeah. I, and then torch. I went and got an Android just to be different. Uh-huh. And I tell you why I got rid of an Android. Two things. One, I called Motorola. There was, there's a, there was a feature that wouldn't allow me to stop the phone from saying who's calling. So it'd be like, Whoa. you know, call from Jim Norton. And I'm like, this is not right. Why I'm digging through the phone know? till one in the morning, and they they go, oh, AT and T must have put a, a an app on it that we don't know about. And I call AT and T, they're like, oh, we don't know. I go, that's one. Two, it forces you to integrate everything in your life. It it changes <laughs> Twitter and MySpace and 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 makes it this thing that you have to. Finagle, like it doesn't even allow you to not use Twitter or not use Facebook. It's there, and you had it fourteen thousand apps on it. It was just too much going on with this fucking phone. Even though I liked it a little bit, it looked good, it felt good. No. What do you have? The Atrix. The Atrix. That's right. I bought. Me and you were thinking the same thing. You bought the Atrix. I, I went Atrix. I, I'm loving it so far. I, it just sickens me. It's just too. It just. It was too much. Too much. I, I felt like an old man. I'm like, this is just. What is this shit? Too much. Too much, and it wouldn't allow you to. Sad, it's, sad to say, I had to finally bail on the BlackBerry. I went to my guy again, and he's like, dude, it's over. He he, he threw up the, the the white flag. The torch. It's done. I think the torch fucked them over yeah. bad, dude. Because yeah. I love BlackBerry, and then it's and then stink. the only thing I don't like about this Apple is uh. A couple of details, you know. But Why didn't you wait till Verizon came out with a new phone in a few months? Because they, they, I got an AT and T, and I need a phone now. Oh, okay, so makes so, sense. No I, reason I, to say that. No reason to say that. Like I just asked a totally ludicrous question. Like, <laughs> why do you why do you go to the bathroom once in a while? Like, well, I have to shit. I gotta pee. You fucking asshole. That really, Sorry, that's that's you. Right. I cursed him out for no reason. That's a pretty fair I think question. I Danny thought. Danny asked me that same question, like, because Danny said it not like a regular question. Yeah. Danny said it like. Men can poop. It's coming out in a month and three <laughs> days. I'm like, I'm not a fucking technical guy, but the iPhone doesn't let you do things with like ringtones. <laughs> ringtones? Yeah, like I wanna. You can get ring- you ringtones. Yeah, I, I, I like ringtones, but they won't let you just take it from your from your fucking. Your, your, your iTunes or something. Maybe they don't want you to, you to be a teenage yeah. girl. They're looking out for you. You don't need ringtones. But it's the ones they give you go doodly doodly do. I like, like that. I don't like that shit. I is do. that a cultural thing? I, I, I think yeah, white, yeah, I think white, need, white people are fine with doodly doodly do. I think white people are kind of moving do. on with black uh, people ringtones. Love ringtones. I think black people said. like ringtones more than white they people. Love I hate to be racial again. I'm money fast. Like, if I had one, I would I would put Sarah McLaughlin's <laughs> oh, the, Born Innocent as a ringtone. The fucking poor runny-eyed animal song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sad bitch. I didn't realize the song, We Are Born Innocent. That song's called Iada or Ada or some shit. Yeah. It, she just, it, she's just miserable. Yeah. But I wanted to get that as a ringtone. Oh, my God. Why? why? I just don't know. Everyone if, what, out. the funeral parlor called you? <laughs> <laughs> if who called you? Why would you have this as your ring? Oh, it'd be great. Every, have, they should have that every time Bob calls. Just making everyone <laughs> sad around you when you're taking a call. <laughs> yeah, this is, oh, my God. I really? just wanted Who's, to hook. That's all. How miserable is this? <laughs> but she's a miserable bitch. I don't know. I know. Jeez, there's nothing happy going on in her life. Who else do you want? Helen Reddy? <laughs> <laughs> Some Anne Murray? Mom? <laughs> what the fuck? Mom. <laughs> Come on. How can you not this here? Just the, the hook is good song. It's beautiful, man. You wouldn't be answering the phone. You'd just be listening to the ringtone. Yeah. It's like, answer the phone, motherfucker. Yeah, every time you pick up, it's an animal crying. <laughs> that <laughs> should be your ringtone. Oh. You too can help. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, dog with three legs. Thousands of animals are needlessly put to death every day. Exactly. You can help. You take the phone out of your leather pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My dog skin now just bag. Picture, <laughs> picture a, beaten, a beaten kitten or a baby yes. seal. Just listen to this and think of humanity. Yeah, and picture your rug with kitten piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking it across the room to this song. <laughs> That's, I wanted to start off right there. Why would you do that to yourself every time the phone rings? Yeah, listen to this every once in a while. It's all right, but every time your phone rings, yeah, exactly. I, it's just remind you of things, man. You should have your phone remind you of things, man. Are, are, it does. You, are you going through menopause or something? I might be. Yes. I wake up crying. <laughs> <laughs> I can cry. My uterus hurts. My phone, my phone does remind me of things. Every time it rings, either, oh, I have to talk to my girlfriend, or I hope that's the massage girl who's going to jerk me off. It always reminds me of I have an appointment coming up. And how do you expect fame to call if you got that as your ringtone? Fame is uh, is blowing you off until you get a, a, a more uh, I don't have it appropriate yet. ringtone. Because the fucking iPhone won't allow uh. me to. I even bought a ringtone app. It's, it's difficult to do. I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah. You know, I just want better ringtones. That's hilarious. Other than that, the iPhones have been okay to me. I don't know. But that, well, I, I, miss, I miss BlackBerry. I do miss the that. The BlackBerry got so fucking dated, though. That little screen, the fucking keys. <laughs> look, it's right here. That take shit. a look at it. Look at that thing. And when You're you going to fucking watch videos on that? When you guys were getting your iPhones, I knew you guys were taking the lead. But I'm like, all right, I'll hang in there because I know BlackBerry's going to do the right thing. And they're going to they're <laughs> be the right bold. back in the game. Uh, what is that? Yeah, the uh, the yeah. bold is the right. best. Well, the, the best phone I ever had. Yeah, the one you have. Uh, they the told torch. Me, the torch. They said, "Don't fucking buy that." You my, right. my own cell phone guy told me. I'm 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 sad. So I, I didn't think that I would get Click click <clears throat> click click. That's the storm. BlackBerry is shit. AT and T is shit. I would have went to Verizon and gotten anything. I would have got a fucking flip phone from Verizon. That's <laughs> who you have now. No, I have AT and T. But as soon as that Verizon phone comes out, my, you understand I can't wait. It's not out yet. <laughs> no, but the, the the new phone will be out over the summer. Oh, okay. I can't wait to fucking call them and, and go. Just say. I'm done. I wonder if enough people will do that. Oh, yeah. Because they don't I care. I think a lot of people they, will do that. They, they would rather, like, I, I bought a new phone before my uh, upgrade time. Yeah. And and they just wanted that little extra hundred. They want their money. And I got on the phone, and I'm like, you know, I try to really have these drawn out, painful conversations with these people on the <laughs> You're phone. You're fucking just <laughs> work. You I work want to down. psychologically. Yeah, just break them down. Like I, multiple I, MIGs. I want, them, I want them to quit that fucking job. I want them to feel what I'm feeling. They, I, I do the same. Swallow their own tongue just so they don't just, have to talk to you anymore. So maybe the next guy gets a little easier after they hang up with me. <laughs> <laughs> so a bitch goes, <laughs> a bitch goes uh, quite frankly, you sound like uh, multiple migs. <laughs> not anymore. No. I make not it, anymore. anymore. I make it hurt. I make them get off their script and everything if they want to talk to I, me. Here's what I do to them now. Here's what I do now. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Hello, man. We're, we're, we're performing a wonderful customer service. And we're to I'm, I'm, I'm June. May I help you? I'm sorry. What'd you say? I, I, uh, <laughs> my phone was uh, cut off. How is it, man? Shut up back there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say what you was going to say. Oh, then I asked them, yeah. do they force you? To say that? Is that something they make you do? You can't just say, huh? well, sir, um, which now they go, would, would you like me to call you um, Patrice or Mr. O'Neill? It's like, what do you, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> it's great having all the time. Uh, what, do you, what do you like to do? Well, Patrice, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I think Mr. O'Neill yeah, is Mr. better. Mr. O'Neill, and say it right. Don't yeah, say how you say Mr. sir to me. I want you to say Mr. O'Neill. Like Mr. O'Neill. Can you imagine when you said, what do you want to do if she fired out <laughs> the atomic bomb? <laughs> and you had to do your phone thing while she addressed you as that? <laughs> Patrice will be fine, miss. No, no, we've committed to this. <laughs> and her voice got kind of stronger. She developed a southern accent. She sounded like Rod Steiger. <laughs> ah, I get a couple of them going, though. The, yeah. the AT and T, I go look. Can you just put somebody in the phone as a human and just on a human? I don't want to. I don't want to quibble and haggle over two hundred dollars. I want to get a new phone. I don't want to leave AT and T. Don't force me to leave AT and T because I want a new phone. I don't want to pay two hundred bucks. I don't. Yeah. Just get them on the phone. This two hundred dollars is a, is a principal. And if you pay for any other method other than mailing it in. 
or the internet, you gotta pay fucking four ninety five. If you do it over the phone with a person, four ninety five. So I said, so of, of a million people, this is you know some black girl in in Shreveport, Port, Louisiana, Louisiana. Something. And I said, it, do you get any money? I, I said, I said, you know what? I don't mind paying this to you, cause I, you know, good, cause you you need the money, right? Cause uh. you figure y'all have what five million customers, and for million customers paid over the phone like I'm doing that's five million what every month ah you get some of that <laughs> yeah, sir that's cool you gotta well, get I don't piece. get any of that sir what <laughs> they don't give you that shit <sighs> all right <laughs> This You're is just terrible. killing them psychologically. Oh, this is terrible. yeah, you are fucking You're them fucking up. Feeding them you are multiple migs. All she wants to do is go to lunch. <laughs> yes. She Fuck doesn't want to do Fuck this. Fuck her taking that job I where she fucking tells me I got to pay $10 a month for fucking the movie channel. It's fucking yeah. despicable. Fuck you. Oh, I want to ask uh, Jimmy uh, what his experience has been with Verizon. I haven't switched yet. Fio what? Fios. Oh, Fios. You know what? Uh-oh. I want to hear about I, I, I cable... One of the best phone calls ever made. Uh, could you come this day and cut it off? Why, sir? I have a better service coming. Oh, wow. Uh, it's like telling a chick you break it up with her because her cunt stinks. They, how, how, do they, how do they try to keep you? They didn't. They, the guy was great. Oh, wow. they, but they will call they, you but back. I'll say this. You but because you're dealing with the fucking the, the drones. You want to deal with the king bee. You want to get him. I don't know enough yeah. about Fios yet. I, the app, I don't know how to fire up because it said I need to have a thing installed. But I do have a thing installed. My box is installed. So far, the picture quality has been very good. Mm. The uh, the guide is great. comes up immediately. I'm happy. It's, a little, conf it's a little confusing. Yeah. So I'm not good with it yet, but I will. You'll get the hang of it. How do I, how do I fucking uh, activate the app on the uh, iPad? I have this app that's not activated. What the fuck do I do? Really? You just gotta sign up for your account online. And <laughs> but I did already, and it's telling me I don't have a, a set box. The fuck's a set box? What? So that was a chick that you know you can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't punch him in the side of the head for that. Come on. <laughs> I like it. Come on, Richard. I did like it, Come but on. it just... I really did just make that one up. I hate him for saying it. Come I know. I'm, you're, all, you're all right, technically. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, so what? In stores now. Oh, oh, iTunes. Download it. It's all in the delivery. <laughs> It's on the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to whoop his ass for that shit. I dare it. I really, but, I really, <laughs> but I really don't know how to sign up for it. I did. I did. I have an account online, and Why don't I'm you trying call to fucking files. I probably could. Yeah, they're pretty good yeah. with that walk you right through it. <laughs> yeah, it should be fairly yeah. easy. Like, I'm waiting to see how Jimmy why likes... Why is he walking around <laughs> like a NASA scientist? He's got his... Why, uh, Jimmy? Well, I, came from a, I came from He LA, came from a trip. His iPad and his MacBook I, Pro. I, I want to know how Jimmy's Fios is because I'm waiting, and then I'm going to get it. I'm I, waiting for for you to have it for a week or two to see the pluses and the minuses. I predict it's It took him a long time to hook it up because it's brand new in the building, and there's a couple of quirks in the system, but the techs were great. <laughs> Like when I, tw I was annoyed that they had, that someone in the office had messed up my appointment and and not, yeah. but but the tech guys got it fixed. They were great. Um, and y'all can't do direct TV in your building, right? They can't have no. a bunch. We of probably can. I don't want it. Who dishes. wants it? I want FiOS light. Yes, the Ooh. speed of light. I want light. I want light. <laughs> Fiber, I want cables and hopper. Is light fast? Bing, what light. do you have? It's like that. Light's pretty fast. Light's I got fucking Time Warner right now. I hate it. Uh, light that's fucking carrier pigeon. But do you hate it or you just hate the arrogance? I hate it. My fucking internet pops off at least two or they three times a week. I got to reset yeah. that. And then uh, like Ant jokes about with the is happening more uh, and more. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. pixelated picture where it goes... Well, I thought we would go to the uh, and restaurant. The, and, the, and the new thing, which... It's all pixelated, and the sound fucks up. And, and the new thing, which has only happened Table in the last six months or so, the audio just drops out without the... Oh, that's great. For about five seconds. That's great. Just drops out. They've, over, we, they've, they've know what that's overextended about. their system. Is that what that you know is? That was very they're, funny, though. Their nodes funny. are all full. These people created a system for us to really enjoy ourselves. And we like, fuck you, you sons of bitches. And it's like, ah, where's the ah, other ah, guy that ah, invented TV for me? Like, you know why, though? We're lucky there's not ah, only just ah, Time Warner. Right. I, right. I'll answer that question. When, when cable was only $20 a month, who gives a fuck? We're That's paying true. a lot of fucking money for their service, and it's a bad, That's, and their what, service what, sucks. What, 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 I'm paying the 200s, man. I'm, oh, in, I'm in the 200s. What Patrice was saying earlier, though, where you, you want to fuck say, them. fuck you, and get fucked by the new person, that was my logic for initially getting Fios. I was, at, uh, I was getting Cablevision, 
And I was with Cablevision since cable came to Long Island, like <laughs> fucking a million years ago. It was only with Cablevision. With a small black box, yeah, just with, with the, the two buttons. With the two buttons, there's a clunk, key on it. Clunk. You got to turn a key and like a fucking And the remote was the same size as the fucking rad. thing on the TV. Yeah. I, I, I was there, like, since then. And then I realized, why the fuck have I been so loyal to this company when they've done nothing but Fuck me over, not take care of my customer service problems, nothing, just nothing. So I, I, I got files, and, and I called, I canceled. They came back, they came back and tried to get me back. They were like, we will give you six months free, just come back. And I went, no, there's no. You know what, the, that's our Egypt and our <laughs> Lebanon is one day we're just going to all stand up. And, say, and just say, say no. fuck a company. Fuck, the, yeah, fuck you. But the, it's, it goes back to the loyalty, loyalty thing, which makes me laugh every time. It's the Chinese restaurant all over again. Uh, I've been with you <laughs> since you invented cable. You can't throw in one channel for a little while or do I something. I can't believe they was going to stop the pixelating. Give me, give me a coupon, something. I talked to this guy <laughs> for, and then I got to the point, too. I, I know who the fuck is going to be good or not on the phone. Like, I know exactly, uh, like, who's perfect on the phone. I would say any if I hear an older white woman, it, chances are to be decent. Yeah. If I hear any straight man, mm -hmm. chances mm -hmm. are to be a decent girl. Right. Uh -huh. Gay guys, horrific yeah. on the phone. Bad, bad customer service. Gay yeah. white and then trickle down to gay black, gay Puerto Rican. It's bad news. I can't help Black you. Black girls, it's a crapshoot. It, oh, you might oh. get one that's you can't get one phenomenal. in a million. Phenomenal. Yeah, one in a million. Or one that says fuck you. But a lot of times, it's just every problem I've ever had has been like, did you unplug the sex <laughs> box? <laughs> did you plug it back in? Wait a minute. They go down the flow chart. And then go to the back and read me the I am mean, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I'm not fucking yanking this shit out the right. wall. You. What do you if think you want to turn it off, you just push your button, bitch. Yeah, right. yeah. Push the push on button. Push your stupid button. What do you push think? I got this button. shit push sitting on a button. TV tray in front of my right. fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. TV? You, you got the info right in front of you. Push the fucking button. This shit's installed professionally in a fucking cabinet. I ain't going to start looking in the back with a flashlight on my head. It's in the wall, bitch. Yeah, I don't know what the IME wall. number is. Can't get Fios. Who can't, can't get Fios? Me. Why? They don't got my Islanders, and uh, now that I'm a fan of the Knicks again, no Knicks in HD. Can't do it. What? Why don't, don't they it. have that in HD yet? Because like contractual uh, stuff. Yeah, because Cablevision owns MSG. Owns MSG. It's so, their fucking so Verizon, fault. yeah, Verizon actually took them to court to because Cablevision purposely will not give them those HD channels. It's, it's rough to watch. Uh, Cablevision's a shit HD, service, man. and they're trying to fuck people getting a good I, I, service. I, I need my Knicks and Islanders in HD. So you said fuck Cablevision? No, I, I was with Time Warner, but I said fuck them, and it Why felt wonderful. Because the same things Anthony talked about. Yeah. They would double charge me for pay-per-views. They would fu burr, burr, that fucking noise that, that my internet would crap out, and I want light. Do you understand? I want lickety split. Light. I want fucking quick. I don't want to share my fucking connection. I want could, light. Could, could you yes. describe light for everybody? I push the button, and there it is. Fast! <laughs> really? It's light. How am I going to download? Fast! Download it! Whoa! That's how I is, want is it. Is internet really f super fast? Fast! Yeah. Yes. That fast. fast. Do we need faster? Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yes, you ever try jerking off in the fucking scene? Is just halfway there, and the, and the fucking the girl at the Adam's apple is just lifting her dress up. Oh. You're like, oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> you, get, you, get, you get a buffering situation. <laughs> Fuck. And here's a, here's how fucking cool. Uh, here's how cool the Verizon, the FiOS people were. They. Oh, you I, have FiOS now too. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. Me. I fucking told Cablevision to take a fuck hike. Just get out of here. And uh, they had to come take all their fucking equipment away. I don't like the way you almost used an old lady expression, but threw in fuck. Like you were going to say take, take a, hike, a hike, but you realized how fucking awful that <laughs> yeah, was. Put in fuck take hike. a fuck hike. Take a fuck hike. <laughs> take a I long... think as a man of leisure, mm -hmm. you should just, maybe you should just call. I would. I mm -hmm. would call probably for a good month and just, and just let them know I, I left. Well, occasionally they come back. they come back and try to get me to come back. And I, I talk with them, and I, I love talking, very calm, cool. And I tell them, uh, I go, no, your service just wasn't good. And they go, we'll give you this, this. I go, you <clears throat> could tell me you're giving me lifetime cable for free. I go, you could tell me that. Why do I want something bad 
for free when I could pay what I want for something good? And they get so. But you like, got to be careful. If Files gets gets really popular, because well, then, then it'll, it'll, it'll be, the, be the same. They'll go that they got to look that. And, and the service will be bad. They got to be. They got to can't help themselves. They all go that. You know what they, you know what they did though? Here's what they did for, for me, and it was great. I, I was having a problem. I was like, wait a minute, I'm I'm noticing the same pixelation I was getting with Cablevision when I first had FiOS installed. And I was like, motherfucker, what the fuck is it? I called them up, they came by, did all kinds of tests on the line, and they said they said something like, You got more data flowing in and out of your house than NORAD. So they brought another whole fucking router a whole new system in at no additional cost. One just runs my fucking computer data. Uh, One runs my fucking yeah. video and, and wow. uh, uh, TV and shit. Mr. fucking Kumi. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I guarantee now, you, Mr. fucking blooming fucking Zibazable <laughs> that lives next door didn't get that. Wouldn't have gotten that? They know you, Mr. You know Kumi. They're no, taking they power know. away from your neighbor at this point. No, <laughs> they know I needed. Their lights I, are dimming I wanted the, the internet. Time. I need it. it has to work. They, they gotta make you. it work. Yeah. They fucking know you. They gotta make it work. Well, they're well, like, no one's ever needed this much power before. No, Patricia's right. They Somebody got to them and said, look, uh, this guy has brought a lot of people to Fios with him. Oh, they know you. Oh. They just don't Dude, a whole bunch of people, with you. They whole just, bunch they of people you, marched well, right good. behind you when you changed to Fios, and they know that. Patrice is right. I don't think other I bet people are running bring, compound shows out of their house. But I, I bet you they don't bring all that. flying in and out. They don't bring all that equipment for just the regular guy. No, no way. Your Twelve next door computers they running you. constantly at my no. house. Patrice they, is right. They're not that nice. And the next time Cablevision comes to your house, you got you got to open the door with a Fios hat and T-shirt on. Hello. How are you? How are you today? I got a three thousand dollar refrigerator for seventeen ninety nine or something like that, oh. right? But I said, "Wow, Best Buy is really sweet company. You really did your best." And as I leave, you know, the guys like, "I, I we know you. I, I, I didn't want to bother you." I go, "It's good to be me, motherfucker. Thank you. It's not good to be this nigga that's paying three thousand for it." You know what? It. When I went to go get my iPhone, I walked past a fucking line and a oh, half. Oh, it's great. I walked in. I got like a twenty or 15% discount. I didn't get that. It was fucking... It was and just... And, and, and then you, you walk get out and pe more. people are looking like, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on my iPhone when people have been... I'm walking past people that have been waiting eight hours on a line. And I'm walking out going, yeah, I just fucking walked in. Did you sing the Did you sing the line bypass song? What's the line bypass song? I'm bypassing the line to get my phone. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you're not. That's the you're song. You're not. I'm bypassing the line to get my phone. Yes, I am. <laughs> and then you just change it to, I bypassed. You just swap out the fucking I they, ING for D. I bet, the peop <laughs> I bet the people online love that. They and uh, when I want my iPad on Friday, I'm just going to walk in. I'll be like, how you doing? So and so, I just say so and so, yeah. just to not get him in trouble. Steve J. And it's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, how you doing? Yeah, we'll take care. Bleep, 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 bleep. There you go, Anthony. Are you getting it Sunday? Love the show. Friday. When's it come out? Friday. 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 And what are you doing with your old one? I don't know. What the fuck? Send it to China. Have the kids take out the yeah. <laughs> Actually, take out the mercury. Yeah, <laughs> the mercury. They suck it out. <laughs> Have you and ever seen that shit? Yes. Holy shit! They walk Holy on these shit. mountains of old fucking computer equipment, oh. just picking circuit boards up and peeling little pieces of silver solder off of Good. it. Good. This is the problem with the belief in God. I do believe, but. God damn it. Can you just do something to stop these people no. from taking advantage of babies? Ben Affleck's taking, taking fucking care of that. Mercury. Don't worry about Ben's guy. Ben Affleck's taking care of the He's Congo for some oh. reason. Ben Affleck woke up one morning and said, I am bored shitless. I need something to What do. can I do? And he just he spun a globe. And he just thrust his finger into the globe and went, the Congo. Is mine now. Let me see if there's a problem. And he realized, wow, there's a big problem. It's huge. Now he's calling Bob Dole's wife and shit or some shit. Or, no, uh, McCain, John McCain's wife. It's like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm interested in the Congo. Uh, well, we need to get Obama on the Congo and do it. Fuck the Congo. How about you take care of this country, Ben Affleck? I mean, this country is pretty. I think the worst of the worst in this country that could not. There are no children taking apart my cell phone. Huh? I got eight cell phones yeah. in my drawer, yeah. Yeah. and now they got this thing. We buy you cell phones, two hundred dollars up to two hundred bucks. So I'm like, whoa, yeah, yeah. sixteen hundred dollars in this drawer. Nice little fucking. And, but there's a hey, child right? sitting Indian style, plucking, just taking circuits. whatever piece of they could use right silver that you like, use to ooh. fucking. 
solder against some wire. Kid doesn't know what it's used for. for it's some, some magical thing. Evil Ming Dynasty villain <laughs> who's smoking a cigarette <laughs> with a fucking long filter, and <laughs> and he has the parents held hostage. Or the kid, there's some kid waiting to lead a rebellion, and he's fucking (laughs) rising up. It's It's just... Like all them kids digging for that rock in the Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom when they're all in the caves. That's like exactly what the fuck they're doing over there with computer parts. Oh, my God. Picking little pieces of solder. Oh, look, a diode. (laughs) But this shit is coming to the front door. All this Libyan-ness, all this Egyptian-ness. All of it's coming to here at some point. They're going to get us. Supposed to be some outrage. They're going to fucking get us. All right, with that, why don't we take a break? We got Patrice in studio killing once again for us. Caroline's uh, Thursday through Sunday. Huh? Let's plug this heavy. I don't know when I'm going to see you guys again. 212 757 4100. Yeah. Are you? Th- this gotta, thing should sell fucking out. It, it, of course it will sell well. Uh, it, it's, it, it, it's nice on Thursday. It's, nice it's my triumphant <laughs> return. Finally, Patrice has come back to Caroline. It's been a while. Finally. Huh? <laughs> But, <laughs> but they were saying, like, this. Why will you, after shows, are you going to be selling my CD, Despicable, which is in stores now? That's you just crazy. Go to and download it. If anybody's waiting for Despicable, I want everybody who goes to Patrice's show to say hello to him and request purchasing my CD. It won't happen. It will not happen. Please try to purchase my CD from Patrice. At Patrice's he will have show. some, and he's a good friend. Uh huh. It's out, out today. Jimmy's we'll wipe new my CD. ass with the hard. Oh, that really. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Caroline's 217, uh, 217, 212. Did that way too quickly. Caroline's 212, 757, 4100. Patrice is going to be there Thursday through Sunday. My outer man. retirement tour. He's one day <laughs> Thursday, which will be you people. You will get the best show because oh. you will get the nice. practice show. You'll get the nice <laughs> fresh Patrice. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get the, well... Let me do some new shit and see how it goes for the other people's show. <laughs> and then by Sunday, you're uh, enough of this shit. Sunday show, show is the, <laughs> come on, folks, let's be honest. Enough already. You should have bought tickets before now. <laughs> I mean, you're the same people who went to see the movie on Sunday, so let's be honest here. I'm a Sunday movie. I can't wait. I might not do the two shows on Friday so I can see Battlefield Los Angeles, motherfucker. Yeah, is that coming out Friday? That Friday. One. Fuck, I do want to see that. So I yeah. think I'm going to be at Caroline's Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bullshitting, you literal or, motherfuckers. Or just, just be another disappointing thing, I think, though. You think? Like, it looks cool. Can one of these movies be fucking... I wish. What it's supposed to be. Independence Day, the first half. Yeah. I think... It still gives me the, the excitement good. chills. The big fucking ships, up, and we're fucked. And, oh, up yeah. to the Statue of Liberty raped. <laughs> That's the, it's up to the up to the where it's close after the destruction and the fucking bottoms closing back up. Yeah. Then after Bill Pullman takes over, then it becomes just the worst it. movie. You'd all be dead if it wasn't for my son David. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's the part I can't get past. Is a Will Smith part. Oh, this oh. alien. Who yeah. s- who single handedly was destroying Area Fifty One with his mind, yeah. and his and his <laughs> and his and his giant suit, his his suit that encases him and makes him impenetrable. Yeah, Will F- Smith punched him in the face, punched him, and that said, took "Welcome," you out, and huh? knocked him out. And then uh, and then it killed doctors. Yeah, choked the guy, and made him talk through his mind. Mm-hmm. Ki- almost killed the president with his mind. Right. And Will Smith knocked, didn't knock the alien out, knocked out his outfit. <laughs> to where he th- he thought. He knocked out his this outfit. This is where he assumed the alien's chin would be, that he could knock this guy. Because the we have the same, those aliens have the same nerves where if you get hit in the temple, <laughs> it, it, it came out with fearsome evil. And then it just, and then he dragged it through the... S- this knocked out alien in a suit. <laughs> you hated that. I'm taking it. Please tell me you hated that. Yeah. <laughs> I, that I could not get past. Yeah. Some of the things that bothered me about that movie. Yeah, I but agree. the first, the fir- when the when it comes over the moon with the fucking very cool. St- this 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 race of aliens 
who fucking travel through the solar system. And the size of those things. and the... 15 miles. It was, I, I loved it. Here's he's the not, punchline. He's I not hate suit saucy out. lines like uh, this. But Patrice, in all fairness, when I saw this in the theater, <laughs> this was this was a clap break. The figures it was those dummies. I, I hate clap breaks in movies where everyone feels like, oh, yeah. He yes, goes, welcome to Earth. That's why I'm not a movie maker. Suit. So maybe you needed that, but yeah. I fucking... That's when I started to hate the movie, because I loved what you loved. The fucking graphics, the idea of it, and, yeah, and yeah. they cornballed it up. He, you don't need it, to yeah. do that. And Randy Quaid should never be allowed to oh, make a movie again. Hey, no. He stinks in everything. Look, man, it was Bill so bad. Pullman. Bill too. Pullman. His decision on how to act in that movie... That destroyed. <laughs> yes. He he says something. We will not go quietly into the night. His big speech at the uh, uh, before did he the do battle. Clint Eastwood? He sounded like the fucking yes! the, out, the outlaw Bill Z. Wales. <laughs> I fucking hated him. He goes. The kid goes. Daddy, let me stay up all night. You let her stay up all night. Traitor. Traitor. He he. Well, I see. It's been coming on cable. I there's some movies you know you. Got to watch. I, I've seen it a thousand Independence times. Independence Day okay. comes yeah. on. Yes. It, it, the I don't know why. The beginning when the moon is shaking and this fucking race of creatures is coming to kill us all. When the fish ship finally gets me. breaks through the cloud with the fire because oh. it's like for a while you're like it's just smoky cloudy And the shit. music. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Everybody stops in New York. It was so how it would be. But you, yep. know, was, you know who sucked in the beginning though? The oh world. my God, I got to call. Oh, my psychiatrist. <laughs> it's like forget, Harvey oh, Firestein. But he didn't call fuck my, it up. My, my lawyer. Oh, forget my lawyer. Get it? Because we hate our that's lawyers. How a, that's how a flamboyant old gay guy would act <laughs> if the aliens were attacking. <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> you didn't mind that as much. I didn't mind. I love Judd. What's his name? No, from you Taxi. Didn't. No, no. Yeah. Oh, Judd Hirsch. That's what the fuck Judd who, who he be Kikeberger? <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst parody of a Jewish guy. <laughs> 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 That was horrible. Be careful. You're trying to get on Two and a Half Men. Remember? Oh Jews couldn't have liked that. That no. picture, picture, uh, of it, picture of his name was Rufus Johnson. <laughs> Rufus Johnson. He was going. You knew then. You knew then. If his name was Rufus Johnson, he was going. Why didn't y'all hand me some chicken for the aliens? <laughs> it was that bad, huh? Y'all should have handed me some chicken for the aliens. Jews were embarrassed by that role. They had to be. But he was Jewy. I've I've, no, I've seen Jews like that. That's my David. That's my David. My we David. get it. Show us your cock. Show us its cunt. We got gotcha. you. Got you didn't need it. You're, he could have downplayed that and just been himself. It was it was so over the top. It was distracting. You, you walked right into that, Patrice. Oh, but you walked nuts. right into that. I love Judd Hirsch in Taxi. He be he. What is this? He be Kikeberger. He be. It was a caricature of a Jewish guy. David wasn't for my David. It's exactly. You don't have to do that. Just and the, and the generals are like listening to him on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, listen and to the old the, Jewish and, and, guy. 51. Hey, 51. But he didn't. I'm telling you, we've Bill been making Pullman fun of that for years. Me, man. Oh, years. Bill Pullman was terrible. I, I, the movie to me, other than Bill Pullman's decisions, yeah. it, it's. it's I, I, the first. I still get excited at the build up to the fact that these aliens are going to blow yeah, us up. Yeah, that was great. I'm a pilot, I belong up there. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a fucking minute. Here's another thing Will Smith did. He goes, they go, what are we going to do, man? He goes, sir, this is when they decide to attack the ship. I'm well aware of their maneuvering capabilities. I'm going, nigga, I, I'm well aware of trains and how they fucking move. <laughs> did you just say I'll fly the ship to the fucking, to the mothership? This is lazy writing. I'll Based fly. on what? Or nothing. <laughs> he said, I'm well aware of their maneuvering. Ca I know how DC 10s sure. maneuver. <laughs> I've seen them in the sky. You're fucking going to fly a spaceship to the giant mothership <laughs> based on you seen them. Seen. I, that, it, there's a couple. I'm telling you, the alien, the, <laughs> the fucking alien who destroyed the doctors. <laughs> yeah. Who had three other ones in water? <laughs> water in his in his outfit. Yeah, in his outfit. He's in his outfit, it, and he punches him in the face. It was awful, but you love the movie. Love the first half. Dude, 
dude, <laughs> dude, you don't understand. Wasn't there some nice catchphrases in that movie? Too? Not even one catchphrase that that stands. If what's with this Area Fifty One? <laughs> they could have bargained down to Area Fifty. <laughs> what's with this? <laughs> He's my David. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I knew I was meeting the president, maybe I would have dressed. Yes, I would have eaten cool. I wouldn't have, cool. Not, I I wouldn't have dressed let... like a slum meal. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let Norton make me feel like face off. You hate but... your head. <laughs> I could have been eating cuckoo. Uh, Why would I do this? You, you yes, know what? what? This is very nice. This is very, this is social commentary. Could you find some, please, Danny? Because is, is there there? I, to me, and I guess, you know what, it makes me understand. What he's doing now makes me see something. <laughs> when I see a black person, they got him acting fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Maybe other people just don't see where that's bad. Yeah, where it's he right, wasn't right. he be he jubing me. <laughs> that's <laughs> what they <laughs> are to me. Kite he didn't that's stereo. Kite that would have been like if they had a gay <laughs> guy. If they had a gay guy. If, if Harvey Firestein's character, which was way over the top, had said. I have to get out of here. Let me shove everything in my asshole and run out backwards with my small dog. Let me run out with my sick friend and my small dog and my things in my asshole coming. I'm gay. Get it? Got it. Got this it. Is not, this is not checkmate. This is not checkmate. Yes. But that didn't bother you. No, no, it that did. didn't bother you. Too. You said he was my so David, but was... that didn't bother you. You no, did, no, Anthony. No, 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 the, not the first time I saw it. Oh, Everything Judd he says bothers me Judd now Hirsch because I know where Judd it's Hirsch? going. Judd Hurst. Yeah, he, he God, yeah. didn't bother you. But he did. Yes, he did. Uh, like, like now when I watch the movie, I think of that. Later on, Judd Hirsch, and it translates into the beginning. So now, right from the beginning, I hate here's it. Some, here's know? something black that may, that might have bothered black people, but white people wouldn't even know. Why is he a stripper? Oh, shit. So what? Why the, the is Vivica a Fox a fucking... Was that his wife? She could have been yeah. a nurse. Right, That's yeah. how unimportant being a stripper... If, if something in the, in the movie happened where the aliens seen her titties... And didn't attack. You right. go, okay. It's like, wait, right. the show reason my was because, no, no, you see, uh, 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 her boyfriend. Uh, uh, I know what you're going to say, but it had nothing to, to do be, with yeah. it. It well, had nothing wanted, to wanted do. Wanted to be an right. astronaut. They could have just said no because he's a nigger. They didn't have to <laughs> add that she was a... <laughs> nah, we ain't let no niggas in space. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was because they have that touching scene uh, with the president's wife when the president's wife is dying. They wanted to show like how even a sh like they could connect oh, on that kind of a yeah, level. Like, oh, like, you could have did that if she was just you know, a right, niggling no, he's right, by though. herself. You know what I'm saying? That's he's the right, cheesiness though. of the movie. Like That's he's where right, they though. were going with Oh, you're a dancer. Oh, oh ballet? She goes, no. Right, right. Right. It, it, was, it was no. just for that yes, scene. I yeah. show my cunt for money, first lady, <laughs> who I'd never be really next to in real life. And that's another thing. She's got internal injuries, and they just let her die. There. They weren't even trying to help Dude, her. Dude, the, the first lady died. The first lady, and she's in fine. the alien hospital. She's got color to her. She's moving around, and they're like, ah, there's nothing we can do. Internal like, bleeding? Well, could you try something? She died of internal bleeding. They didn't even try. I was so happy when she died. I didn't yeah. feel sad. I was hoping it was contagious, and everyone would get it, except for the aliens. Bill Pullman walks oh. out of the place, and he's just like, is mommy sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, she's uh, sleeping. Uh, and then he looked at the kid. He, down. he looked at the kid. He goes, "Your mouthwash ain't making it. <laughs> Go ahead, make my day. I'm going to do all of his lines." Bill Pullman, by, the second half of, of I I turn off. Uh, it's just like Pulp Fiction. Anything that Sam Jackson is not in, not interested. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm just serious. I I. I can't watch it without Sam him. Sam Jackson in he Pulp Fiction. He has to be in every scene. That's why I like. This may be sacrilegious. But this is why I like Jackie Brown better than oh. Pulp Fiction. Mm. Because Sam Jackson, it, it was, you know, fucking good Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson was a ruthless motherfucker he, in, in that Jackie Brown. The entire movie was Sam Jackson. No one fucked that movie up for me. Pulp Fiction. But, but uh, Independence Day, the first 45 minutes to an hour, when it's like, time's up. <laughs> but there were things happening at this point, though. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. could have made them go, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, up to this point, when they weren't communicating. Yeah, yeah. They were just <laughs> sitting there with giant ships, placement all over right, the fucking right. globe. Perhaps. And something else. That fucking six hour drive from fucking New York. New York to that Washington, they made in four hours during the escape 
<laughs> uh, from Alien. Like, they just, it's some things they you were know, very lazy. Yep. Vivica Fox lived during a this firestorm of 10 billion degrees. This in a tunnel. cleansing fire. This bitch was the only one that knew to kick that door in. And her dog lived. And what kind of asbestos room is she in? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, there were things. She lived, but then she got mesothelioma. <laughs> Dude, the beginning of that movie was spectacular, man. I, I still, to this day, it's it's my favorite first half of a fucking it's a great movie. I agree with Patrice half. on yeah, that. Yeah. that was, about, yeah. we, we hear a little bit of Judd Hirsch. What, if you what can about find uh, any? Full Metal Jacket? Oh, as, as, ah. as far as fir, uh, That's favorite. another first half. Yeah, good. favorite yeah. first half. Why of the movie. aren't you stomping Private Pile's guts out? <laughs> <laughs> but should Private Pile be in the barracks at this hour? I, don't, I think the second half, I thought first, Anim, Animal Mother oh, is one of him. my favorite characters. That is good. Adam Baldwin in that one. I love Adam Baldwin. Underrated guy. He's great in my bodyguard. And he stands over this dead guy who died, like, jerking off or something. And everybody's like, we're going to miss him. Oh, I love you. And he goes, better you than me. And he was in Independence Day, too. Yeah, Adam Ball, but that's the... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. what He's, he's one of those guys, guy that, then. I mm. love Adam Baldwin, man. Oh, Let's, please. A little yeah. bit of this. Oh, the, oh this is, is this... Is this... Is uh, this oh, Joey Kikeberger, yes. Is, is no, a, Hebe Kikeberger. Hebe Kikeberger. <laughs> Hebe Kikeberger. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stuff. And, and it did bother me. I don't see oh, Jews like this, and that to me was so funny. It was such a clowning I of Jews. I thought this was Jews. No. This didn't bother <laughs> me. Uh, Listen to me. Come on. Just like you say the fucking Tyrone character. Right. Like, mother go, hey, man, chick I might go, why is he talking like this? But to, like, a white person that doesn't know, it's right. like, what's your problem? If he was Italian, he would, hey, don't get alien some pizza. I'm not going to Hey, you know, I get Jersey Shore, man. Put the big up caps on the spaceship. They ride around. Let's my mother sauce. <laughs> oh, Vito. Ain't that them? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's <laughs> Those are the women. <laughs> All right. Also making the list, Stripes. First half of Stripes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then it, it got really just good. Stupid. I just watched oh, it. And then then it got apart. weird and serious. Yeah, right? There's a bunch yeah, of those yeah. movies where the first half was great. But we got you the audio of uh, it, oh, Stripes. Go, go, go. When, fucking, when they all get in trouble for mud wrestling. And I just saw the scene again. And and, uh, and John Larroquette wants an explanation. And John Candy's like, well, sir, we got on our way to Bingo Parlor and directions get all fouled up. And he goes, shut up. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. sir. That okay, big fat head. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> Shut up. So this is Hebe Kuiper. Yeah, here. Yes, Hebe Kuiper. Yeah, let's hear him. You're going to kill them and us at the same time. If we fire nukes, then everybody else who's got his mind. Got it. You know what that means? Fallout. You're your nuclear winter. It's the end of life as we know. Look at that. Hold on. Pause right there. He, he, already, he actually skated in on penny shoes. He already looks I wear penny shoes, not penny, penny loafers. He already looks really of Jewish. Of course he does. He's thinking. What can I say that sounds yet. Jewish? He hasn't even talked yet, and you can tell he's... He's very Jewish. Yes, he's actually reading a book. T no, for T for I'm Torah. Not gonna him, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to let him maybe fucking hate John Hirsch in Independence Day. Before you, before you get to uh, Kaige he, he Burger. He be Kaige Burger. Yeah. Kai Burger. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, there's also who, what's that other actor um, that was in there? Jeff Goldblum. The, no, no, Robert Loggia. Yeah, Logia. Robert Loggia. That one thing where he goes. Get on the horn. Let's tell them how to bring them sons of bitches down. <laughs> it's so over dramatic. Uh, tell them uh, how to bring those sons of bitches down. I think I know down. every line in that fucking oh, movie I, I, and know which ones I hate. A thousand times. And sometimes uh, I got to turn away from the TV because I'm too embarrassed to look at it. Uh, let, let, let's see what. Let's, let's see, see what. Oh, fucking, he be kind perfect. Here he comes. He, he, he looks God. Jewish already. It's, he walked in looking ethnic. Uh, it can't be allowed. Get him out of here! Hey, hey don't tell him to shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we can't even listen because we're gonna laugh. Oh, shut up! Oh, no one is this Jewish. You'll all be dead now if it wasn't my David. None of you did anything to prevent this. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, time out. Where's his? <laughs> where's his penis? <laughs> Can penis someone Jewish please tell me if this is wrong? It's so wrong. Is this wrong. a wrong Jew? There are There's Jewish no... guys like that, but it was such an obvious <laughs> stereotype. So he should be walking oh. through the desert with a fuckload of Jews behind oh. him. He could have just walked in and said, "Hey, don't talk to him that so way." You'd be dead without him. What was the most Jewy thing he did? That mo every every word, every syllable. Oh he, every syllable. It's the cadence. Uh, you can't fuck this Dude, up. Dude, if he, you wore, can't a fuck up. If oh. he wore a shirt with Let's... Israel on it, it couldn't have been as over the top Jewish. How about vultures? <laughs> Are you vultures? Listen... Uh, the vultures? Let's listen to the whole Vulture. scene. Uh, <laughs> try to get through the whole scene. Okay, it's quick. Now, it wasn't my David. 
None of you did anything to prevent this. There's nothing we could do. We were totally unprepared for this. Ah! Don't give me unprepared. Come on, children. It was what, in the 1950s or whatever, you, you had that uh, spaceship. Pause. <laughs> Why are the generals entertaining this old Why Jewish guy? Why are they guy? listening to him with his stupid well, beard? there was nothing oh. we could do. Why does he have to justify they, himself right, They should have said, go take your orders from fucking Louis De Palma, stupid. <laughs> Beat it. Beat it. Get Jim Norton in here. He could have done a better job. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so annoying. Not the well, moment. Remember the, the, the 50s. The 50s. Area 51. Watch Robert Loge's face <laughs> when he says Area 51. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that thing that you found in New Mexico. Back, please. Oh, that thing that you found in the thing. Please rewind that. I have to hear that. I have to hear that fucking... That thing that you found. Hey, what was that thing that you found in the desert? Let's hear it. Oh. Don't get me unprepared. Come on, children. It was what, in the 1950s or whatever, you, you had that uh, spaceship? Dad. Oh, yeah, that thing that you found in New Mexico. Dad. What was that? No, no, not the spaceship. Was that Roswell? Roswell, New Mexico, yeah. No, you had the spaceship and you had the bodies. They were all locked up in a, in a bunker. <laughs> what was that? David. I don't know. Area 51, right? Area 51. You knew then and you did nothing. Oh. Why did somebody put that up as a as a great clip? There's I, I, someone that <laughs> loved that enough, or hated to put it, it enough. Up. They love. I'll tell you the best part of that clip at the end when the guy oh, silently. Oh, Church is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the best part of that clip. The end of it when the guy silently stands up from the couch. <laughs> Rewind right there. I'll show you the best part of the clip. Watch, Danny. Just go back a little bit. Watch. Here we go. The best part of this clip. Right there. <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill Pullman almost stands up. Standing up, he's like, uh. Now you know that you did not yeah, say I'm so did mad nothing. at what they did to that fucking film. I'm so I, mad. I completely agree with Patrice on that. It could have been an amazing movie. When, when the fucking, after the destruction, it was like, the when it was just quietly destroyed yeah, yeah. the earth. Yeah, yeah. And it just closed back up. And then we get to that scene. How does it <laughs> yeah. go from that to You know what they should have did? And Judd Hurst should have come into that room with a fucking yellow star of David on his striped shirt. <laughs> this is this is why I'm excited about uh, Battlefield Los Angeles. I'm, yeah. This is what the hope is. This is where this began. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is what the hope is. Is that it will be what the end of Independence Day should have been. Where uh -huh. they was preparing for the... The, the invasion, the invasion right. right and and it th this is what i'm this is almost to me like i'm hoping it's independence day 2 where right. they actually get on invade. earth and invade right and do you think Meyer <laughs> shackleford will save the day <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're invading yes they're you running know Dan? then you did not you know then what was that place down the street from the kosher deli that you're not sure if i'm jewish i'll say it again why, <laughs> why do we sick the monster after him you know the loch ness monster i don't you know, know. Dan? <laughs> There's a monster in the Loch Ness. What is that place? I said it once, but I'll say it was a heavier accent. Oh, yeah, you see, man? <laughs> what was it, that place? Oh, yeah. We got it. <laughs> we understand you at Bar Mitzvah. It's okay. Patrice has officially been knocked out. He's, <laughs> he's down and out. <laughs> You're out. That's one of the You're things out. I hate hey, it. Did he have one of y'all? You're out. out. Yeah. No. Oh, no, he put one on though. He didn't because he didn't feel it was Jewish enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He put a yarmulke on when it was in prayer. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he goes, but I'm not. Jew some guy goes, I'm not Jewish. Nah, <laughs> that nobody's perfect. Is there any? Please, we have one more clip oh. of that fucking. But I, I hated him in that. Oh. I hated fucking the the uh, the president. I hated the. Fu I hated everyone, even Will Smith. Who I think is a really good actor, but doing that fucking that stupid wacky line. You don't need them. You don't the need cop and buddy and movie lines. Shucking and jiving while he's uh, stop it. Flying the fighter plane. Oh no, you don't. What are you doing? Real fighter did, you know what? Talk that he way. did. In terms of douche chills. Yeah. Oh no, you didn't shoot that green shit at me. Right. It why. You can be humorous, right? Again, I'm just saying from a yeah. fan of movies. Yeah, yeah. Why? didn't why wasn't it real it they I know. why did they have to because they suck you did not shoot, shoot that green shit first at of me. all they attacked the ship yeah that the, it swallowed up the, the missiles the, yeah. it didn't even explode they went boing, 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 boing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and people were dying and they would pull up and his boy died yeah and and no you didn't shoot that green shit at me 
gives me the, the it, fucking creeps. Horrible. Especially the scene that they cut out, which was when Judd Hirsch saw that. He goes, the green! Isn't that liquid money? They're shooting liquid money! My David would have drank it! Let me put this on! Can you see this? I'm praying! What? You gotta love... Wait a minute, though. All right. Can we agree... That uh, uh uh what's his name? The other his son, uh, uh, David uh, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Go Goldblum was flawless. He, I he like did him. Nothing douche chili. No, he's just I'll, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, he's weird and everything. But he was he was excellent. I thought yeah. anything he did where he goes where you you know so you guys can go up there and and do your thing and and, and um, do you think it, uh, down, take it down? Take it, I thought it he out, was excellent. It, um, yeah, I, I love Jeff down. Goldblum. But to me, is there any more Judd Hurst? Oh, for so Pete's sake. So could we vote on somebody it. to get out of Independence Day? And, 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 yes, whoever wrote it. Yeah. Yeah, the, the writing fell apart. Like you've, uh, yeah, you've I would say point. the president was horrible. Bill Pullman stunk. I thought Will Smith stunk. And it's because, like when he, in, in Men in Black 2 or whatever, when he, when he jumped down, he goes, Rain and black folks. I'm like, what are you doing with that shit line? <laughs> Why do you movies. make the guy who's a great actor a real fucking soldier or a real fucking guy who, like he said, there's humor in it, but it doesn't have to be shuck and jive humor. It doesn't have to be the over-the-top Jewish I, I, guy to make Jewish people I, seem compassionate. Stupid. You know what was funny in the movie, and the funny was perfect? Was the Say guy. Randy Quaid, and I'll no. break my computer over your teeth. <laughs> no. <laughs> he didn't bother me, by the way. The uh, kids bother me more. He didn't either. bother you? But wait a minute. Do we have a clip? The oh. guy who played the robot in, in Star Trek uh, Next Generation. Data? D Data, the guy who played the... Oh, the, the doctor guy. The doctor yeah, yeah. is a character that's funny within his own weirdness. It, yeah, it wasn't, because he's been just locked yeah, away. Yeah, he's just a weirdo. So, long, a weirdo, so you laugh right. at that kind of shit, but the... But oh no, you didn't shoot that green shit at me. Just it, yeah. to this day, I gotta turn the TV now when that scene comes. Every, huh? and, oh, that was him. I didn't know that was him. Yeah, yeah. yeah and by the way, the, I, I thought it was genius where they tied in Area Fifty One, and they did have a ship that they could like get some like knowledge from. Like I thought that it <clears> could have been. Like, there the was some things where they just said great. fuck it. Yeah, they just said fuck it. How do we kill these aliens? We just blow their ship up with a <laughs> with a ship that they. Wait a minute. Why would they bring? Wait a fucking minute! <laughs> Why would that giant ship yeah. bring in that little one from fucking Earth when they all go on the big ones that's already down there? Why would they fly into space and they go, oh, it's a little one just chilling. Let's bring them right in and dock them right in front of me with the fucking missile. And ain't that the 1950s model? Yeah. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't even have the 2000 model fucking little ship. Yeah, they, uh, that's pretty funny. And they, and, they don't, and they fucking can't tell that someone... That would literally be like a, a turtle driving an Edsel into your garage. <laughs> How would you not know? A turtle. <laughs> like maybe you won't. Notice. Yeah, all right. Let's go outside. The turtle with the gun wants to shoot us from it the edge. It just could have been so real. I just, it just, they could have kept it so. That's really fun. So yeah. good, man. Hey, uh, not the best over the top view of all time. Really? <laughs> what were they saying? Not the best. Who Patrice should know this one. I don't know. You should know this one. I don't know. All right, we'll go right for the answer. But uh, a movie we saw together. Scooter in Illinois. No, but no, wait, Scooter, wait, Scooter. Before you say it, wait, <laughs> wait, Scooter. That was supposed of to... Of course, of course. That was uh, supposed to be dead serious. Of course, that's the difference. Okay, okay. We, we do know it's the, the, that's the difference. The, but. Not on, over the top, but maybe the greatest Jew character of all time. This guy, what this guy's The greatest over the top Jewish Un character of all dude, time. Dude, Done dude. on purpose. That's, that's the difference, Scooter. But go ahead. Hey, boys, how y'all doing today? Good. Uh, I think the best Jewish character played was Tom Cruise in Tropic Thunder. We howled. Oh. Remember how left we, we, we left? <coughs> but it was remember how hard we left. Less, that was less gross to be. Was hilarious. That was supposed no, I know, that's to be. Yeah. said. Yeah. and that. it was that's so racist. It, I don't oh, even yeah, think yeah. this one is trying to be racist. No, he's I just think he's to trying to be an authentic an Jew authentic guy. Oh, my Jew God, guy. yeah. He's not trying to be. He's just not an old school Jew guy. Les Grossman was maybe the most racist character I fucking... It was so racist, I was getting nervous. Yeah, like, oh, like, boy. Yeah, Tom, Tom Cruise lose lost his job. mind. Yeah, I was, like, I was getting to, nervous. To agree to this. Oh. Also, another movie that uh, had a great first half. Blazing Saddles. 
makes you the list. Yeah. Fuck. When that fucking movie ends up in the in the in the uh, catering hall or whatever the fuck it is. It's like Con a Warner that's Brothers Mel Brooks, though. Mel Brooks yeah, kind of yeah. gets weird. Nah, Spongebob yeah, yeah, was like that, too. Like falls apart. They didn't know like, how to end that. They didn't know how to end that fucking movie. They, they didn't young, know how to end it. Frankenstein was like uh, weird. Uh, they should have called David. David would have ended it properly <laughs> for them. They should have done. You know what I mean? David. I I like Joe. No, you know. I refuse. I refuse. You're not so gonna get. Watch me. him again, and everything he says, you're gonna go. Ugh. So this is just based on the fact the new movie's coming out Friday. Battle Skyline, Battle Los Angeles. Skyline had a great trailer. I mean, it was it, it was horrific. Yeah, that was a bomb. If I see, if I never I even see, saw it. If but. I see that fucking uh, Brett Ratner again, I'll punch him in his stomach. <laughs> he knew. You could see it in his eyes. He was like. Ugh. Maybe we'll get I'm going to get him. Maybe we'll get a nice opening. We're going to fucking put him in choke. We didn't know. That we, we just talked about the trailer with that guy going, wow, the fucking trailer oh, looks what, amazing. What movie is that? Oh, Skyline? Sky Are uh, you here for that? No. No, no for Brett, I was away. Yeah, Brett, he, he's a great guy. He's a cool guy. He had a lot of good stories. Yeah, but, I like Brett Ratner, but, but he was pretty much fuck. He was pretty much telling us the movie sucked. No, I don't think he was. Yeah, he, he pretty was much pushing was. It. Was he? Yeah, he was, t he was talking about special effects a little too much. He was, really, he was saying how cheap they are to make and, yeah, and yeah. the kind of return that you get but on such a cheap But those guys are doing Battlefield Los Angeles. And I, but I thought the effects was great, though. And that movie. And Skyline. Skyline. Yeah. But the movie was just hey, bad. Also, Patrice uh, playing Caroline's Thursday through Sunday, 212-757-4100. These tickets are going to go fast. But uh, you want to talk NBA for a, a second. Oh, that, Miami Heat. Yeah, there's a big turnoff for some of these people, but other people like to hear, hear basketball talk. Yeah, the show. I guess some Twitter is that I have to block when they for when I'm doing sports, I have to get rid of them. <laughs> don't you like don't it. fucking make decisions on what I like, you, motherfucker. You like uh, the Knicks? They're having a kind of a schizo run, losing to the Cavaliers twice, but yeah, but I mean, I, I you gotta you gotta look. I don't give a shit about the Knicks, but I'm gonna say oh, you yeah, gotta be is. happy. You gotta be happy. I'm a fan again, officially. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be happy that they have some last night. two they... relevant guys that scored 30 points by the third quarter and left. Yeah, they sat last night. They they killed them. But here's my thing about Miami. All right, if anybody in Miami's listening, this is why they're not gonna win the championship, and it's because there's be a big so problem. No, they're not gonna. They can't win un unless this happens, and this is why they can't win because they're trying to blame. You're the, gonna fix the, the coach heat. and everything. They're talking about getting Pat Riley. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> To, to fucking do a little time on the bench. Here's the problem. Go ahead. Sorry. Le it's okay. LeBron James, okay, <clears throat> there, there's no player boss on the team. LeBron James is so good that he can't be the second guy. He's so good and so talented, he has to be the first guy. He doesn't want to be the first guy. He wants to be the second guy, but he's too good to be the second guy. <laughs> so here's what fucking Wade and fucking Chris Bosh have to figure out. They have to look at themselves like the Bulls, Jordan, Pippen, and Horace Grant, okay, or Dennis Rodman. Even though they all were great, everyone knew Jordan was the fucking boss. Here's what Wade and Bosh have to understand that they're going to be. They're going to be really super good role players. So when you look at the role, look at the Cleveland Cavaliers when it was, it was Joe, uh, LeBron, <coughs> Mo Williams, and fucking Varejao, okay? Those guys are role players, but you, they weren't that talented. So you go, these guys are role players, and they knew their role. Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade have to be have to back super down. duper <coughs> role players, and LeBron has to lead that team. But if LeBron doesn't lead the team, this is where Pat Riley might be. He comes in and he tells them, he goes, "Look, LeBron's the boss." Isn't that gonna be piss off uh, Wade? It doesn't matter because Pat Riley has that kind of. Well, then you got that conflict. He got that, he got that kind of generalness about him, with, uh, general like a, yeah. a leadership you, where he goes, "Here's how it's gonna be." But LeBron cannot be number two like he wants to be. And, and you do realize those two will end up hating each other. Down the it, road. They won't if Wade. But that's not going to happen. If Wade relinquishes the fact then they won't hate that each other. he's not the guy, there's going to be an ego thing. It's not happening. a competition. LeBron's better than everybody except for Kobe Bryant. He's the boss <laughs> on every team, except for if Kobe Bryant's And he's on the trying team. to play second best he's on that He's trying team. to give away the ball. He's trying to do... Wade is now a role player, and Chris Bosh is a fucking hyper, supercharged rebounder and kind of scorer. They're not... It's, 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 it, it never fails. There's no team in the history of the NBA 
where you you wondered who the boss was. The Lakers, Magic. The Celtics, Bird. Detroit, Isaiah. They were the boss. This team, oh, it's Wade. Or it's, it can't be that. But that's, that's why they're not going to win. I disagree, because I always thought that Wade's defense was the problem and that, and that Boss needed to start uh, uh, be passing the ball a little bit more. Because uh, Wade's defense, was, uh, Wade's I, defense I, I, was weak. No, no, no. But King James. You know what? I thought LeBron James was was, was being I, a role so player I, too. I I needed to say that because I can't say it on Mike and Mike. So I just wanted to say it because I was thinking about it. Of why they're not going to win, yeah. and they can't win. I, I I like your thoughts on that. They I don't win. disagree, but I think that if you, if you're going to have a role player, well then, then I'm going to say, hey, I think Bosch has to really just settle down and accept his role. <laughs> but is Wade going to tolerate that? Well, will the coaching staff even get back to him? <laughs> See, that's what you hear on talk radio, sports talk, and it works, so same, don't even laugh. Same goofy same shit. shit. You know? Uh, if you had a call today, who wins the NBA championship? Tough question, obviously. Right now? Right now, if the, you had a call. The fucking Black Celtics, man. You think the Celtics got They're what They're better than everybody else right now. Even with those weird trades you weren't happy with. I hate them trades, but I look at this kid, Gerald Green, and he's big. Yeah, but Gerald Green, is he going to get it done in the postseason? I mean, that's the thing. He's untested. I mean, how many guys are tested in the postseason? And is the coaching staff going to make that happen? Yeah, back to you. <laughs> this is it, though. I don't know. Is, but I mean, is the coaching is staff going to do that? That is them. And then you got to go, I'll, I'll hang up and let you comment. Yeah, go ahead. You comment. I mean, I don't know. What about you? know? I, the, I don't think so. And then the host has to make something out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, make something out <laughs> like, of that mess. What the fuck? Oh, I got on. Tangle this shit. Yeah, but Wade Wade and Bosch back to them. What hell? Green thinks he can get it done. Let's see what he does when he mixes up with those guys in the postseason. Sports Jimmy, what about the Knicks? What about the Knicks? You know, come on. They're having a tough time this year. We all know why. (laughs) It doesn't need to be said. Oh, my God. Defense! Defense! They're giving up too many points off the board, and they're not doing rebounds. They're not doing rebounds, and I passed the ball. Oh Everybody God. wants to be the boss. Everybody oh wants to be the boss, but they can't rebound the ball. The defense is not good. It's not good anymore. Wade and Bosch, different story. Like I said, Wade's defense is terrific. Bosch's not doing a good job at all. And King James has got to learn to be number three. That's what I just said. Play roles. <laughs> sports Jimmy. Jeez. I love Sports Jimmy. But come on, I agree. Fucking exactly. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. But if you want, well, you want to look at, you want to look at Wade and, and Bosk and, uh, and and James. You want to go back to Kareem and Magic? We'll talk about that. Kobe Bryant. Kobe, exactly. Role player? No. <laughs> Is he? What's up to you? I don't know. You tell me. Shaquille left. They both seemed to do okay, didn't they? I mean, Kobe wanted to be number uh, two. Shaquille wanted to be number one. But then Kobe was number one. That's exactly the same situation. Except with totally different people you have in Miami right now. Totally different people. Same situation. How about spring training? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. You have to have it. But that's how injuries occur. People get hurt in spring training and they wonder, how come this guy's not throwing the ball like he used to throw it? Well, it's because you got throwing too many innings in spring training. I've about, said that said for the years. NFL Sparky 18... Lyle. I was about Sparky Lyle, 1978. I went out for a Bud Light with Sparky Lyle, even though it didn't exist then. And I said, God, you're going to hurt your elbow against spring training. <laughs> Scoot. <laughs> Scoot. They always call me what Scoot. Do you, what do you think of 18 games in NFL, man? 18 games in NFL? Well, you know, if you want to extend the season, have a lot more players get hurt, that's up to you. But what about the, uh, you know, what about the hockey? Huh? 18 games. 18 games. When they don't, when they don't know, they just like laugh. Like, they just question. Yeah. 18, what do I think 18 games? Oh, come on. <laughs> what do you think? And then you make an opinion and I jump on it. <laughs> Fuck, Jimmy. That's perfect. <laughs> that is super perfect. Yeah. Jimmy's new CD, Despicable, is out today. Dixie, get, get Despicable. If you want to see material that you might have heard, fine. I mean, that's what's on it. Where, where Average you... material at best. A little iTunes action on this? Yeah. I'm actually very happy with it. What if people want a hard copy? Then they can go to San Francisco and see me at Cobbs. I'm the king of two plugs. I'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wade, Bosch, and fucking James. Jim Norton, Despicable Cobbs. Do they put CDs in stores at this point? Yeah, they are in stores. What stores? Best I don't Buy, know. Maybe? Not sure. I don't know either. I don't know where you get fucking CDs. I don't even anymore. know where you would get I don't CD. know, honestly. Best Buy still has CDs. But that, sort yeah. of. It's a mess. Yeah. They it's don't going even, away. They don't take care of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you like got, a holdover. Yeah. You gotta it's take a around lot of space what you're in for. fucking Best Buy, though. It, it takes True. up the entire middle of the store. Yeah, they do have a lot of room in those And the yeah. computers are way over there. And the fucking. And there's uh, a guy going, you TVs. best buy. <laughs> oh, God. Now you, no. get, <laughs> now you can get dishwashers at best buys, though. What's that? Uh, about? You can't. That, that's, that's fucking human training, though. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Me and Florentine sat on the plane, and we literally. Talked about farts for an hour and a half, and we just laughed. <laughs> we were literally just telling fart stories on planes and giggling. And I fucking, too. he dozed off, and I okay. cupped one in my hand, and I opened it in his face, and he woke up. 
and he was so happy, and then he just took his headphones off, and we talked about farts for ten more minutes. <laughs> that's, 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 that's fucking... That's perfect. I, I, was, just, I was just laughing, because I'm like, I'm a 42-year-old man, just that's laughing perfect. about farts. This is why chick... You know, I, me and my, my girlfriend were arguing, and I fucking pulled Patrice out as an example, and I'm like, and Patrice even said to Zach, whenever you're hanging out with your friends, do you wish your chick was there? No, you don't. How you say you don't wish your girlfriend was there? I use that against my girlfriend in a real <laughs> argument. You never sit there and go, you know what would make this better? Because <laughs> we're having a good time, but you know what? Kick it up way, way above notches. My girl, she's hilarious. Oh, yeah. She farts for no reason. That doesn't fit. Never. You ever said that? Miserable. They really are the worst. Miserable. Your your uh, CD info is on our Facebook page, Opie and Anthony. Ooh. Thank you. So uh, I think you didn't show Patrice my cover through Amazon. Through Amazon, you could get it. Yeah, That's yeah. me in high school as a sophomore. So Jesus, Jim. wait, number four. What's going on? Moving up the charts, or what? Out of five. About? Yeah, I'm behind Glee. I'll never pass them. Glee and Glee and Glee. I'm number four. I'm going to stay number four. You're beating out one of the Glees. That's scary, because Glee is behind me. They got, Why? They got four out of five of the spots. Yeah, of Why course. Why is they. that on comedy? Who's that chick next to you? And who's the black guy next don't to you? Don't know. They were just from a yearbook. Um, they don't know those guys? No, nah, who knows them? I don't remember them. That shouldn't be Look in that comedy. that high school shooting Mine, you mean? Force. No, no. Do you like the hairdo? You're just a douche. I was a young, that is a, virile lesbian. When did you get really your, you get your first dyke. pussy? Uh, 18. In high school? Yeah, I, right, I was a senior. It? No. I didn't pay all this, like That 22. girl was horrid looking, wasn't she? She's gay now. Really? She was, no, she was cute, but she turned gay. Wait, did we have sex? No! I'm, I'm incorrect. That was my first girlfriend. We didn't have sex, actually. You're wow, correct. I'm totally wrong. God, the, the girl I just had sex with the first time just fucking emailed me two days ago. Can we uh, get her on the phone? Her name's Michelle. We might be able to get her in. She lives in Saudi Arabia now, but she's coming back. She's like, yeah, let's get together. We, we had dinner last time she was in New York. Oh, we got to get her on the phone. Uh, we, we, we should do old girlfriend day. You can have her in. She's oh fucking... Uh, way back, though. <sighs> way, way back. Way, yeah, way back shit. I told her we'd love to talk to her on air. How great <laughs> she was my first sexual experience. <laughs> hey, um, really fast, too. I want to uh, thank Break.com. I told them I'd give them a plug today. They put one of our videos on their front page yesterday, which is fucking cool. Great. The fart mask video oh. starring you, Jim Norton. Oh, yay. They put that up on uh, the front page, which is definitely... Uh, it helps. Oh, my God, does it help. Uh, so. That's funny. What were you just fuck, looking at, man? man? Huh? No, that's funny looking at fuck. The fart mask? Oh, yeah. No, he was just looking yeah. at his phone. All right, I guess we're done. I don't know. Well, hey, guys, thanks again for that. letting me come in. I'll see you guys, what, a few months? A couple, six months? <laughs> months? <laughs> no, why just let me wait? know. Just, uh... Why would you wait so long? <laughs> Call, give me guys a <laughs> why? What's the matter? <laughs> this whole place is getting weird. Just, wait a minute. Uh, I'll see you in a few. Can me ask you a question? Yeah. Are people who are not members of this show... Yes. Um, ...attempting to make... Creative... To bring an outside party... Attempting to make on-air decisions, like as far as what we determine is funny um, and appropriate. I like, think I think what what they're trying to do is make suggestions. Okay, good. Only suggestions. That, fair enough. That are binding. I have no. Yeah, idea. I miss you guys. No. <laughs> I miss you guys. Do they th look? We exaggerate everything. Stop. Everything's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. No. Because they have to realize that... Everything's fine. They're not our audience. Exactly. They're they not our audience. They don't understand yeah. our audience. Everything's Ooh. just fine. We don't want to make... We're going to miss you. <laughs> miss you guys, man. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have fun every time I come in. <laughs> I know. It's been a pleasure. I did, too. It's going to be... Uh... I'm just sorry you're the wrong color. That's I was surprised when Blatter said that, too. And for the memo to come out publicly like that yeah. and say there's just been too many, and they put, like, you-know-what's in quotes, but we knew what it meant. We know. In the Opie and Anthony studio, we were like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. I'll, uh, thanks, guys. Something I'll, about moral, I'll, Danny, I'll, uh, something about moral hey, turpitude. And you. I understand that. I'll, uh, Where did you just read moral turpitude? Is that an official letter? Yeah, that's moral an official turpitude. letter. That's, moral that's turpitude. what they got Charlie on. Oh, you weren't here for that? Oh, no, you were... You, yeah, you, you came I was yeah, practicing yeah. some. Able. They got him on moral turpitude. I don't even know what that is. A something about a felony that. while working for the company or something. All kind of legal mumbo jumbo too. Like, ah, why don't exactly. you just fucking say you're fired? Be yeah. screwed many times if it wasn't for my friend Patrice. <laughs> yeah, I see you guys. <laughs> There's moral turpitude. It's a real issue. Mm. Caroline's Patrice O'Neill Thursday through Sunday two one two seven five seven forty one hundred and of course Big. Mama prods on Twitter. You yes. guys do what you could for me. And with that, did. we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.